Yeah, Jah love his children so much that he don't want to see none of them suffer, you know. That is why throughout the generations, you know, he sent his prophets, he sent his singers, he sent preachers, you know. Same thing like back in the day. You know, it's just different time, but same Joseph spirited children, same John spirited children, same Elijah spirited children, you know. It's the same you know, one in the same, you know. I, I just to show how much God loves us, you know. He loves his children so much that he don't want his children to perish. He don't want to see none of his um, sheep of his past that get lost. You know, he will he will go and get that one that lost. You know, he will leave the the thousands of them there and go and get that one who are lost because he loves us so much, you know. So that is why he have been sending prophets and singers and preachers and you know his children is his vessels his chosen ones to do these works is one in the same you know is one in the same of the same you know the same tree you know as you say he is divine you know yeah it's just it's one in the same but different works for the kingdom now some people as evangelizers, some people as singers, some play instruments, some as preachers, some as prophets, you know, prophetess, you know, it's just works, you know, and it's all jar works, just the key to bring his children together, you know, so that none will be lost. It's about big picture, you know, it's bigger than, it bigger than you and me, you know, it's bigger. In the beginning, Jaja always want, always want a family, you know. We always want a family, and what going on? What went on in the garden day with Adam and Eve? How they pick the, the forbidden fruit, and you know, and mankind get lost again. Mankind got lost, you know, and it just happened like that, you know. But. God always wanted a family, you know, always wanted his family. But mankind always getting lost somewhere down the line. But his, his main intention always is to bring his children together. So that is the reason for all these powers now. All these powers, you know. The youth singing, you know, the conscious vibration coming from the king. To his chosen vessels, you know, whether he is a prophet, as I say, a preacher, whether he is a prophetess, whether he is a player of instrument, you know, all these people you see on the street that has been evangelizing, it's jar works, men who bring in these words to the, the people, jar works, it's just jar, you know, it's just, no, no matter where you call him, higher divine, you call him Allah, you call him, it's just he trying to. To get his children in line now, but it's just we just had to humble ourselves so we could heal the land, you know. So much illusions, and how he walking in light, it have a next one who walking in the dark who don't want to see that plan come about because he know that the redemption and that is everything if your children unite and the powers that be, which is the, the unification and the. You know, the spiritual coming together, you know, one world coming together, whatever, you know, your, your skin color, your status, you know, just to move over the depression, you know, and move over the illusion and the deception, because all them things is the tools of the devil that's trying to foil God's plans for all these years now. And that is, that is the big picture. Because darkness want to conquer light, you know. But it is written already that, you know, good will conquer evil, you know. Good will conquer evil. God over devil. You know, we will fight in that great Armageddon war and we will win. We will win the fight, you know. That is the redemption. It had to, it had to happen, you know. So, the enemy already know that he lost the battle. But that is to show you, you know, 
just as how he deceived the one third and they fell like a bolt of lightning from heaven and fall on top Mount Hermon and they get deceived and they in chains some of them under the, the river Euphrates and you know that is the plan of the enemy to foil God's plan and to take as many as he can with him but Jaja do want to see none of his his children end up in the abyss he don't want to see none of his children end up in the abyss you know if you really check the heights Jaja do not want to see none of his children end up in the abyss because that was made for the devil and his angels so he don't want to see none of us end up there so that is why he have been sending Jonah <laughs> send Joseph he sent the disciples you know Christ chose 12 of them and he say not one of them was lost for you give one to me dear father all of them he kept them because it's a greater it's a greater purpose now you know John who gave revelation in his old age you know it's, 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 pur it's purpose like what Jaja does operate purpose you know and reason for everything God makes everything happen for a reason everything doesn't nothing doesn't happen by guess or just like that you know the father have a reason why you know everybody the way it is but all man was made in the image and likeness of God so we were born in the image of God so we are his children naturally so why choose the wrong way boy why choose the sinking ship choose the ship that you know sailing you know which is Zion you know which is Jah God you know the higher divine you know the I am that I am we call him Yahuwah you know choose him you know choose life choose light why choose darkness and you know darkness will end someday you know darkness will end up in the abyss someday someday you know Satan will be no more he and his angels and his followers will be no more so choose life today choose Jesus Christ today choose heaven today you know as John say in the wilderness repent ye repent ye because the kingdom of heaven is at hand make all crooked ways straight you know prepare the way of the Lord because there's one coming after me I am not worthy you know to buckle his sandals you know so it's just it's just jaw works man so as I said earlier you know God don't want to see none of his children perish so that's the reason for sending all these prophets son prophetess you know to speak to the people you know just like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego there was a fourth man in the flame you know and that fourth man always there and if you listen carefully you will hear that voice you know always talking to mankind you will know the right way you know if you listen carefully you will know the right way but that way always guiding you, you know. Always leading you to the right way. If you listen carefully, you'll know the right way within yourself, you know. Because Jah always there within. You know, Jah always there within, you know. So respect to the world massive, whether you're poor, whether you're rich, whatever your status, whatever your religious preference. Just remember we are one people, you know. One love, man. Jalif. Yes, I...